Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to solve a very interesting problem Java program to check whether a number is Armstrong or not So given a number x, write a Java code to check whether a number x is Armstrong or not First, uh, let's understand what is Armstrong number So an Armstrong number is an n digit number that is equal to the sum of the n power of its digits suppose if my number is 153 so 153 has three digit if we have to take each digit and it has three digit so 1 uh, to the power 3 plus 5 to the power 3 plus 3 to the power 3 the sum of each of its digit uh, to the power 3 is equal to 153 and the original number is 153 so it's an Armstrong number similarly take another example 15 it has two digit so if I do 1 is to power 2 and 5 is to power 2 then the sum of these two number is 26 so 15 is not equal to 26 so it's not an Armstrong number similarly in which the number is 1634 it has four digit so 1 is 1 to the power 4 plus 6 to the power 4 plus 3 to the power 4 plus 4 to the power 4 and the sum of these digit to to its nth power is equal to 1634 so it's an so the original number is 1634 and the sum of its digit n digit is 1634 so it's an armstrong number 15 is not an armstrong number so we have understand what is armstrong number so let let us check how how we write a java code to check whether a number is armstrong or not so uh, the first step is to count number of digits of a number so in my previous tutorial i have already explained how to count the number of digits of a number so i'll mention the code link in the description box please make sure you have to ch check it now after that step we calculate the sum of the nth sum of nth power of its digit uh, like this which i have explained uh, in the example after that if we compare the original number number if original number and sum of nth power of a digit is same then it's an armstrong number otherwise it's not an it's not an armstrong number so we have discussed what is armstrong number we have discussed how to check out armstrong number now let's write a java code so for uh, java code i have uh, taken a number 153 so you can take any any number i just uh, written down 153 now the first step is to find the length of a number so for length of a number let's create one function private static int count number of digits and take number as an argument to calculate length of a digit let's take length uh, let's take a variable length and initialize it to 0 and run a while loop while the number is greater than 0 if the number is greater than 0 then number equal to number divided by 10 and length plus plus so and after that let's return length so for example if my number is 153 then number is greater than 0 in this step my number will be my number will be 15 and the value of length is 1 again 15 is greater than 0 then this time it's divided by 0 and the number becomes 1 and the length becomes 2 1 is greater than 0 now it becomes 0 and the length is 3 so in this way we find the 
length of a number so we have the length of a number now so int length equal to count number of digits and I have passed the number the next step is to calculate the sum of nth power of its number and compare with the original number so uh, let's declare another let's create another function in which I am taking boolean as a return type and is Armstrong so uh, now we are writing as Armstrong and returning boolean type in this I am taking an argument number and length so what we do is let's declare one temp variable and assign the value of num another variable uh, which which have which takes the sum of uh, which do the sum of n power of its digit now if temp is greater than zero then what we do is we take the digit and in next step we do the sum plus math dot power and digit and length temp equal to temp divided by 10 To understand this, uh, I am taking one example. N our number is 153. So 153 is greater than 0. In this step, we get the value 3. And in 3, initial value of sum is 0. So 0 plus 3 to the power 3. So we get uh, this number. Then the number reduces to 15 again in this step we get the digit 5 and we have the sum of value here already which was which is 27 now in next step we have math dot power I mean 5 power 3 so again this number reduces to 1 and 1 is greater than 0 and this time we get the digit 1 and we have the number which is 152 here and we do 1 cube 3 and now this gets 0 so after the completion of loop we get the sum of nth power of it digits so if I do sum equal to equal to num I mean original number if it's equal then we have to return true it means it's an Armstrong number else it's not an Armstrong number and in main method what we do is take one boolean Armstrong and let's call this method is Armstrong and pass the number and length length we have already find here and if Armstrong now then system dot out dot printer in Armstrong number else system dot out dot printer in not an Armstrong number so we have written the code let's run and test this code if i run this code see 153 is an armstrong number which i have already explained in uh, in the example uh, let's take 15 so remember 15 is not an armstrong number let's run our code and check whether it's giving a correct output so 15 is not an armstrong so I'll mention the code link in the description box. Uh, please make sure you have uh, you check the description box. So I have explained the Armstrong number and how to find check whether a number is Armstrong or not. I have explained how to code 
how to write a java code to check whether a, a number is armstrong or not for more such uh, programming video you can subscribe our youtube uh, channel and thanks for watching uh, this video tutorial